Hi everyone, this is the story of how I ended up studying in Cork. So, my name is Roberta, I'm 19 years old and I'm Italian and I'm currently studying in UCC, um, I'm studying economics in first year in UCC. So, why did I choose Cork? First of all, I actually didn't choose Cork. I actually sent my applications to many uh, universities around Ireland and the best offer that I got was the UCC one. So um, the reason why I actually decided to come to Ireland was that I really needed some fresher. First of all, because of the study method. In Italy, we use a study method that is stresses a lot about memorization, learning things by heart, which it has never really worked for me, you know? It's just like, I don't know, it's not something that I personally like, it's not something that really makes me feel good. So I decided, why not to change? And I already knew that here, um, the method is more stressed on like understanding the mechanism. And since I wanted to study economics and not like languages, it was better for me. And I decided to come here and that, that was a great decision, honestly. And moreover, I really, really, wanted to go abroad for studying because guys you know the world like you start actually to get into such an international environment i currently know people from everywhere in the world from india china uganda canada italy spain france everywhere in the ireland obviously everywhere in the world and and that's so interesting because I am getting to know so many things that I would have never imagined before. And then I'm living alone. I'm independent. I set up my own habits. I set up every single day what I'm going to do in the, during that day. I'm completely on my own. I can choose for myself and I'm responsible for myself. And that's such a huge thing and I promise it's such a game changer because it feels like you are actually starting to build to build your agile self you know your adulthood you are putting the base and I really wanted this I really wanted to be independent I really wanted to be to know people all over the world I really wanted to also struggle with language because I do struggle, I still struggle with English and I've been here for maybe four months but I really struggle sometimes with English although I've improved a lot obviously since I came here but you know it's important to struggle, it's important to get out of your comfort zone, it's important to challenge yourself and I'm doing it every single day and that's difficult but I swear it's so funny and it's so satisfying, it makes you feel well. And so that's why everything started. That's why I decided, yeah, I could actually move abroad to study, why not? So I sent all these applications and I have been said, you will receive your offers on the 30th of August by an email around 3 p.m. So it's the 30th of August and I'm sitting on my couch. It's 2.30 okay it's early then 3 p.m still nothing 3 15 3 30 still nothing 4 p.m 4 30 so the time just slipped away and i haven't received any emails and i swear just waiting there it was so consuming i was exhausted and i said well I guess no one has accepted me. I guess I haven't I haven't got an, into any university. Oh, well, it's okay. I will just go to Milan to university. And I was like, I'm so sorry about it, but well, it happens. And then I said, well, you know what? I will do the last chance. So I went, I logged in the, the website of the central application office. And then I saw offer, Cork. And I was like, what? And I just started, like, I, I can picture myself starting, I, I just froze on the sofa and I just started saying, Cork, Cork, <laughs> like repeating. 
and there was my mom there and she was like did you receive an offer and that was I, I swear that was hilarious if you could see as a third person you know but to me it's still like it's still emotional like I it still I'm still passionate about that scene because that was actually the start of everything of all my experience here and I remember myself like jumping out of the sofa and running to the bedroom where my father was working to just shout at him cork cork and I was just saying cork I wasn't even able to say I've been accepted in cork I've received an offer in cork nothing just cork and then I called everyone and I was like I've been accepted in cork 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 and then the most the be most beautiful reaction was actually the one of one of my friends I called her and said look will you be visiting me when I'll be moving in Cork? And she started screaming. She lost it completely because she knew me and like she knew how badly I wanted to go abroad to study. And she got absolutely crazy and she started screaming. And I remember that in that moment, I actually realized I made it. And that was, I think, the moment in which she started screaming at me. It's the actual moment in which I realized that it actually happened. After years of working for that, after years of planning, of dreaming for it, it actually happened. And from that moment on, everything changed. Like, I kind of got into the mood of, it's happening, it's happening. But on the, other, on the other hand, I actually had to realize it at the same time. So it was funny because I had the start of the semester on the 18th of, of September. So I booked my flight that, that same night uh, on the 10th of September. So I literally had from the 31st of August to the 9th of September to package my whole life in a box, which by the way, is one of the most difficult steps ever. If you never move away, especially for, for college, especially if you are 19, and especially if you don't know anything and anyone about where are you going, packaging, I swear, it's one of the most difficult part. I remember that I, I could picture myself opening the, the, the wardrobe and being like, what would I take with me now? I can't take everything, but what will I need? What will I want to have with me? And that's difficult. That's, that's an emotional part to actually take your clothes and put everything in a package. Because it's not just clothes, it's your, your identity who you are taking with you, you know? And I remember that those days were just crazy. I was in the mix of realization, thrillment, and saying goodbye to everyone, and packaging everything and in the chaos of saying goodbye to everyone I actually admitted to myself that I was scared even though I was absolutely thrilled about it even though it was years that I was preparing that I was scared and I think that the most scary part was the flight um, look I had already uh, I had already uh, went on my own for holidays or flying on my own. I had no problems about that. But the moment in which I was at the controls, I had just said goodbye to the people that mattered the most to me, so my family. And I was in the control and I was in the queue, you know? And I was literally moving away from them, step by step. And I could see them always farther away from me that was difficult. I remember that I, I, I just felt that I needed to cry so badly and I continued in the queue and as soon as the queue arrived in a part where there was a wall which made impossible for me to see my family and for my family to see me, I completely lost it. I started crying and I cried for all the time of the controls and I just stopped crying while I was looking for the gate because I was slightly late. So I kind of panicked like, oh my God, I'm losing the airplane. And so in the panic, I didn't have actually the time to cry. So 
but the moment I sit on the flight, on the plane, I started crying again and again. And I think I've cried for a good half of hour. And then I was exhausted because you knew I had such a roller coaster of emotions in those days. So I fell asleep. I, I, I don't remember anything of that, of that flight. If not that I cried and then nothing. And then I landed, <laughs> that's it. And I arrived here and my impact was not actually one of the best ones, you know, I arrived at the airport. I went out and I was like, yeah, now I have to find a bus. I had no idea where the bus stop was. I had no idea of anything, which by the way, if you're by yourself, because I was by myself and it's the first time for you in Cork and you have a big size luggage, take the taxi to the city center, don't go by bus. Anyway, I decided to go by bus and uh, the bus showed up all, um, all of a sudden and I think that the bus driver was having a very bad day. I got with my luggage on the bus and he asked me, what do you want? And I was like, excuse me, could you repeat please? Anyway, what do you want to know? I thought he was speaking Gaelic, which is the traditional language of Ireland. So he asked him the worst thing I could possibly say. Excuse me, could you please speak English? That was terrible. And I can, I, I, I can still see his face he got a little bit angry, like a little bit pissed off, like just a little bit. And I kind of became smaller, I think. I was like, sorry. I Okay, you imagine me just crying and sleeping and I arrive there and a person talks to me. I don't understand nothing. That was terrible. And then the person behind me actually helped me and said, he's asking you, where do you want to go? Because yes, one thing that I had no idea of is that when you go on a bus in Ireland, they ask you for what stop do you want to go off the bus, which in Italy we don't do that. So I had no idea what he was asking me. So that's how I started my journey in Cork, which was not the best thing. But you know, then I sit on the bus and looked at the city while the bus was going and I was like, oh, that's nice. That's nice actually, it's very nice. I had no idea what stop to jump off the bus so i randomly jumped off the bus and i found out which was uh, that that place was actually quite far away from my accommodation by the way but anyway me and my luggage started to move towards my accommodation and i can picture that that precise moment I, it was me um my luggage uh and there was the, the, the traffic lights. I was waiting for the traffic light to be green in order to cross the road. And beside me, there was a couple, a young couple. And I saw the woman punching uh, slightly the man and doing like that in my direction. And he turned to me, he looked at me with kind of a proud expression. And they looked at each other and they did like that. And I felt so well. In that moment, I felt absolutely strong. I was like, yes, Roberta, you can do this. And yeah, that was such a good moment. And then I still was walking to my accommodation and I arrived there, obviously, thanks to Google Maps, uh, I arrived there and that actually was the last bad moment of my day, I promise. There was no one by himself. I, I, I moved um, towards the reception, I put myself in the queue, and I looked around me and all the people were with parents. I was the only one by myself, the only one. I felt so lonely in that moment, um, but still I held it and the moment I got in my room, I started crying again. And I promise that's the last cry of the day, and from that moment on, actually started everything. I remember uh, settling down, cleaning up everything, um, making the bed, uh, starting to put all my stuff in the wardrobe, uh, starting to setting up my desk, 
and everything and go to do my grocery and I remember that has such a beautiful moment because I set up my life here in that moment you know and I felt so well while doing that and I I kind of that's that's the start that's the start of my journey here in Cork of studying here in Cork which is something that I'm really glad of experiencing I'm really I feel so lucky to have the chance of experiencing because I'm doing so many new experiences that I I, I hadn't even thought of, of doing. I'm learning so many things by people all over the world. From so the reason why I'm launching this YouTube channel is because I do remember how badly I was craving information, not even curiosities or daily life experience of people already living abroad back in the days in which I was about to move here. And at that stage, I remember, I didn't find nearly anything. And I think it's such a pity not to share these experiences, not to share all the things that I have the great luck to learn every single day. And that's what, I, what I'm gonna deliver. So I'd really love to convey to you my excitement and also my struggles of a living abroad student and so if you are a student who's about to move abroad or even to move to Cork itself, or maybe a student who is like, oh, well, I would like to, but I, it's actually scared to do it, which by the way, all of us was and all of us is still sometimes. Or if you are already an international student who would like to hear someone else's experience, because I found out that most international students have a lot of feelings and experiences in common, then welcome to my channel.